Hi, I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. In this video, I'll show you how to insert header and footer in Excel. Header and footer option in Excel comes in quite handy whenever you want to print your Excel sheet or you want to convert your Excel sheet into a PDF document. Excel provides you a number of useful options for you to add in your header and footer. Let us explore each of those options in this video. In all, there are two ways in which you can add header and footer in Excel. One way is to customize an existing template that is already available in Excel. And the other one is to create your header and footer completely from scratch. Let us start with the first option, which is an easy option. To add header and footer, the first thing is to go to view, go to page layout option. This is a useful option for you to know exactly how your page would look like when you take a printout. So let us click on page layout option and you can see instantly that you have a view of how your Excel sheet would look when you take a printout of the sheet. When I move my cursor to the top of the page, I can see that there are three sections available for me to add as header. I'm going to click the center one. And as soon as I clicked on the center one, you can see that we have a contextual tab for header and footer. In case this is not activated, you click on header and footer and you will come to this tab. Now, let me show you how you can insert a pre-made template in Excel. Let me go all the way to the left and you can see that in this group called as header and footer, I can go to header and I can see a whole bunch of options available for me to choose from. I'm going to choose this option here called as page one financial results sample. First, let us click this and I'll tell you what this means. Now the header is already inserted. You can see that the center part has page one shown and here on the right, you have the file name shown. The name of the file can also be verified from this. It is called as finance results sample. Now, the best part is every single page on the sheet will have the same information. Say, if I go down to the next page, you can see here that we have page two and the name of the file. And when I go down further, page three, the name of the file and so on. So that is how you insert one of the pre-existing header templates in Excel and save your time. Now, let us say I want to add some more information to the header. I'll show you how to customize the information you have on header. Let me go here and click and let me click on the header and footer tab. Now I can see that this piece of information gives me the page number. I want to give my viewers some more information. Like I want to tell the viewers that what they are seeing is page one of the total number of pages that are available in this sheet. That way they have an idea of the length of the document. For that, I'm going to click here and I'm going to add some text here, say off. Let me now add the number of pages here. For that, I can go here and click on the number of pages option. And that is the code that is written. I'm going to click somewhere outside of this header. And you can see that instantly it shows that it is page one of total number of pages, which is 12 here. The same way here, instead of just the file name, if I want to have the name of the sheet as well, I can do so quite easily. Let me click here and let me go all the way to the end. And then I'm going to hit enter. So I go to the next line here. Let me choose the option called sheet name. And now the sheet name is added. When I click outside the header, you can see that I have the sheet name written here as well. You can see that there are four sheets here and this sheet is called as list one. Now let me take this one step further and let me add my company logo here on the top left corner. To do that, I'm going to click on this section here, go to header and footer option, and I'm going to say I want to insert a picture. So let me click on the picture option. I can pick up a picture from a file that I've already stored on my computer. So click on this and go to the pictures. And here I have my logo inserted. I'm going to say insert. Now when I click somewhere outside, you can see that the logo of my company is inserted. But you can see that the size of the logo is way too big and that makes it difficult for the readers to read the information that is given here. So I naturally need to edit this picture and make it much smaller. So how do I do that? I click on that picture 
and I activate the header and footer tab and here I go to the format picture option. That gives me a whole bunch of options. First, I'm going to use this lock aspect ratio. So I'm having it checked here and then let me change the height to say 20%. And when I change the height, automatically the width also gets changed because we have got this lock aspect ratio checked. I'm going to hit enter and now you can see that the picture is reduced to 20%. When I click somewhere outside, you can see that the logo is perfectly placed and it has got the right size. Now instead of having this logo tucked to the top left corner, if I want this to be slightly lower, I can do so as well. I can click on that once again, go to the format picture option. This time I'm going to use picture option and I can always move this a little down by going here and adding a couple of uh, decimal places of inches. So that is a small space that is added and I'm going to say OK. Now when I click somewhere else, you can see that the logo is now brought down a little bit. So you can see that there are a whole bunch of options available for you to customize your header and footer. Now what about footer? Let us go to footer. So I'm going to click on this and go to header and footer option and click on go to footer option and that takes me to the footer option here. Whatever that we discussed for header applies to footer as well. I can always go to footer option and choose one of the options available. For example, I can go here and say list one, which is the name of the sheet. And this is the text that is given by Excel, which is confidential and the page number written here. So I'm going to click on this and now instantly you can see that I have my sheet name and confidential text written here and the page number written here. So what you want to have in your footer and header can be totally decided by you and you can customize it the way you want. Now let us go back and learn some more options available for you to customize your headers. First, let me go here. I'm going to have a totally customized header for me. So I'm going to delete whatever that I've already added. So I'm going to select this and delete and let me select this and delete. When I click somewhere outside, you can see that there is no header here. I'm going to have a custom header only for the first page. That is my first page header will be different from the headers for the rest of the document. And it is possible for you to achieve that in Excel. So let me click here, go to header and footer option. And you can see that I have an option to have a different first page. So I'm going to check this option. And in this case, I want to have my logo smack in the middle. So let me select this, go to picture and go to from a file. I'm going to have the logo selected, inserted. And then I already know that this picture is way too big. So let me go to format picture. Just as we did earlier, we are going to reduce this to 20% and I'm going to say, okay. Now when I click somewhere else, you can see that I have my logo smack in the middle. When I go down, you can see that my other headers don't have the same logo. That is because we have chosen a different first page than the rest of the document. The next thing I want to do on this first page is to add the current date and time. So let me click on this one, go to header and footer. And here I have the options to add current time and current date. So let me click on current date. And also I'm going to add current time. So let me hit enter and add current time. And this is the additional information that is available only on the first page. And I'm also going to add sheet name to the right. So let me go here and click and say sheet name. And now this piece of information is available only on the first page. Now let me take this to the next level and add different headers for alternative pages. So let me select this. Go to header and footer and go here and say, I want to have different odd and even pages. Let me check that. Go down and this is my first page, so I don't really have to do much about this. Let me go to the next page here. And in this case, I want to have my logo to the top left corner. So let us go to header and footer and do whatever that we did the last time around. Picture, from a file, logo, insert, and then I'm going to use format picture and let us say 20% and hit enter. And when I click outside, I have my logo to the left. And let me go to the next page. And this is the even number page. So in this, I want to have the logo to the right so that when it is printed out as a book, 
I can have my logo appearing in the far left or far right. So let me select this and go to header and footer, insert the picture. I'm going to insert the very same logo here, format picture, 20%, enter. And now when I click, you can see that I have it in the right hand side. Now let me go down and see what really happens here. On the odd pages, you have it available on the left and on the even pages, I have it available on the right. And that is the level of customization available when you choose header and footer option in Excel. The first page is different, odd and even pages are different. Now let us go here and see what are some of the other options available. The option here is scale with document. Now let us see what happens when I uncheck this and when I click somewhere outside, you can see that these things really have gone out of proportion. However, when I select this and go to scale with document and click outside, you can see that everything is scaled as per the size of the document. The next option that is available here is when I go to header and footer, I can see that I have alignment possible with page margins. Now let us see what happens to the alignment here on the top left when I uncheck this align with page margins option. Now you can see that the alignment is not with the page margin. You can see that the table has a different left alignment and this information has a different left alignment. However, when I check this, you can see that the alignment is really taken care of. So those are the different options available for you to customize your printed document using headers and footers. So did you find that information useful? If you did, then please give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you want to watch more such videos on PowerPoint and Excel, please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you can be notified about any new videos we post on this channel. Thanks a lot for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.